Question 10, work out 2,674 divided by 22. Now, there are a couple of ways you could do this. You could try it with a short bus stop method, or you could try the longer chunky method. Now, obviously, we try to use the most efficient method that we can that will take us the least time possible. Now, it very much depends on the numbers. Sometimes we'll give you a question where the numbers work out quite easy using a short method and sometimes that short method will become quite tricky because there'll be some quite large remainders and then you'll be having to divide quite a large number and um, trying to do that in your head so we might look at both methods and then just use the method that's appropriate depending on which numbers you've got so we'll go for the short method first so it's 2674 divided by 22 now, if you're going for the short method, what I suggest you do is write some multiples of 22 underneath. So 122 is 22, add another 22 is 44, another 22 is 66, another 22 is 88, and one more, just for good measure, another 22, well, another 10 will be 98, another 10 will be 108, another 2 will be 110. So another 22 on top of that will be 110. Now, the reason why we'll do this will become obvious in a minute. So we go 22s into 2, won't go, but because it won't go, that means we haven't really used the 2, so we carry the 2 to make 26, and now on 26. Now, obviously, one lot of 22 is 22, and up to 26, that will leave you with a 4 remainder. So that we carry the 4, and that gives us 47. Now, you can see from here that this is 122, and this is 44 is 2 22s. So 2 22s are 44. And that will leave us with three leftover to get up to 47. So we'll carry the three, and that will leave us with 34. Now, 44 is too big for 34, so we go back to 22. So 122 is 22, and from 22 up to 34 is a remainder of 12. So we carry the remainder of 12. And remember, you always write your remainder as a fraction. So because we're dealing with... 20 tooths is going to be 12 20 tooths. Whatever the whole thing is divided by is also what the remainder is divided by. So it's final answer is 121 and 12 20 tooths. You could also uh, simplify this 12 over 22 to be 6 over 11. So you could say 121 6 11. Now that's actually worked out not too bad using a short method. But as I say, if the numbers were different, we could have run into quite a few problems here. So we are going to look at the chunky method as well. So if we're looking at the chunky method, we'll write 22s into 2,674 again. And we'll work out what chunks of 22 are. So remember, when you do the chunky method, it's all about subtraction, subtracting easy chunks. So the chunks I always recommend you work out are a chunk of 1, a chunk of 10, a chunk of 100, a chunk of 2, a chunk of 20, a chunk of 200, and a chunk of 5. There are other chunks you could use if it's uh, appropriate to do so. But, for example, you could do a chunk of 4 by doubling whatever the chunk of 2 is, if that helps. Or a chunk of 50 by timesing the chunk of 5 by 10, uh, if that helps. So, one chunk of 22 is 22. Chunk of 10, 22s is 220, 100 is 2,200, 222s is 44, 20, 22s is 440, 200, 22s is 4,400, and 5, 22s is half of 10, 22s, uh, so it's going to be half of 220, which is going to be 110. And now what we do now is we subtract the biggest chunk we can to get as low as we can as quickly as we can. So we're trying to get as low as we can from 2,674. So the biggest chunk we can subtract is this one here. Um, that's 2,200. 4,400 is actually way too big. So we might as well cross that chunk out, chunk out already. We don't need that one. So 2,200. So we're going to subtract... 2200 and we're going to make a note of what chunk that is that's a chunk of 100 at the side and we're going to subtract that out so four subtract nothing is four seven subtract nothing is seven six subtract two is four two subtract two is nothing so we're down to 474 now we subtract the big we look at this 474 and subtract the biggest chunk we can now well the 2,200 is 
too big now, so we can't subtract that again. So that chunk's no longer any good now. And the next biggest number in that list is 440. And we could subtract 440. So that's exactly what we'll do. But as usual, we will make a note at the side that that is a chunk of 20. There we go. And then when we subtract it, we're going to get left with 4 subtract nothing is 4. 7 subtract 4 is 3. 4 subtract 4 is nothing. So we're down to 34. So what are we going to subtract next? Well, is there anything in this list that's too big? Well, 110 is too big. So that's no use because we've only got 34 left. So 110 is no use, too big. 44 is no use, too big. 440 is no use, too big. And 220 is no use, too big. So virtually everything is too big except for the chunk of one lot of 22. So we'll take one lot of 22 away, put a little chunk of one there and subtract it, see what we get left with. So we've got four subtract two is two and three subtract two is one. So we've got down to 12. Now, we remember what we said, we're trying to get as low as we can, as quickly as we can. Now, we, we can't actually subtract any more chunks of 22 off because there's only 12 left. So we can't go any, any lower. So we, we're, we're done with our subtracting. This 12 that's left is actually just going to be a, our remainder because we can't take any more chunks of 22 out of it. So all we do now is we add up our chunks. So we've got a chunk of 100 plus a chunk of 20. That makes 120 plus a chunk of one. That makes 121. And that is our final answer, which goes up here. So it's 121. And this is our remainder of 12, which is exactly what we got over here. A remainder of 12, because we divided by 22, is 12 22 ths. Again, you could have done the same as what we did this way and put change the 12 22 to 6 11th either way um you get the same answer as i say this method that we did here was quicker but that would be could get difficult if the numbers that the examiners had chosen were a bit more difficult and then the chunky method would come would would probably be the more efficient way then